Boo. Ah, uh, it scared you, didn't I? Yeah, got him. All right, welcome. Welcome to the Essential Stream. Welcome to a special Halloween edition. You know, not really many times we get to stream on Halloween, but uh, I've got something spooky for you guys. It's a terrifying week seven game that actually matters in this ETF to well 6v6 autumn season. Ooh. Yes, yes, it's new Panzer versus Pepe's pizza party. And before I get into it, let me uh, get my skeleton out of the closet. Cerny, are you there? I, I'm not a skeleton anymore. That's behind me, man. I've been putting on weight. It's, it's a bit insensitive, don't you think? Well, I, I want to be thin. How dare you? I, did, what's wrong with being a skeleton? <laughs> me in the middle. Me in the middle, I guess, fair enough. Anyway, yeah, yeah I mean, this is this is an interesting match. I, I wasn't actually expecting anything to matter this week, especially after the bombshell of uh, Mandem getting, like, a default and Garda just suddenly getting gifted points and stuff like that. But it turns out, I will uh, stand corrected, theoretically, Pepper's Pizza Party can still make playoffs if they take home at least five points against New Panzer tonight, which is a tall order. But, you know, if they can make it, that would be quite something. Yeah, you're right. And it's not a, a completely written off the new Panzer. They do have a bit of carrot at the end of the stick. And that is in the shape of getting that first seed in the playoff. That means you kind of get a choice of playing against the lower seed. I'm not sure if they give you a choice or if they just play you against the lower seeded team. But, I mean, it's still a nice advantage to have going into it. And, you know, you got to count your chickens where you can. Anywho, uh, before we cross the T's and dot the I's, let's just mention that bringing you all the treats visually tonight will be Samus on the production. But speaking of trick-or-treating, uh, Cerny, who's really the one out of all these players on these mm. rosters that you're looking to see some tricks, maybe a bit more of a treat gameplay? That's, a, that's an interesting question right off the bat, because obviously New Panzer have been looking strong and dominant pretty much all season, right? They've been looking real good throughout all of it. They've got a strong roster in general. The scout combo is nasty. You got fucking a disky on the soldiers, at least, you know, nominally. I don't know. I think it rotates all the time, maybe. It's not going to be the case tonight as well. So usually I think Ryan is standing in, but, you know, it's it's still a strong soldier duo either way, and then you got it rounded out with, uh, I believe it's usually at least GG on the on the demo, and then Pickles on the medic. So right. like that's just that's a that's just a strong roster across the board. These are all players that have a plethora a plethora of experience. They're all going to go to LAN, well at least in some permutation. Um, you know, it's a strong it's a strong ass team. It's hard to just have a one standout player on that because they're all really really good. And obviously varying degrees of experience, but yeah. On the other side, Pepe's Pizza Party, still a lot of decent players on there, obviously. Nothing, you know, not to <laughs> diminish them in any way. But in terms of overall experience, they immediately, like, if you just go head to head, it immediately, you know, is, is a telling sign. Like, oh yeah, no, these guys, they, they don't stand a chance. If we go in like a just one-to-one -one comparison, apples to apples for each of them. Mm. At I... least in my opinion. I think you've hit the nail on the head. The season has been very competitive. It has been kind of rock, paper, scissors uh, across the board. Yeah. Everyone's been taking po points off each other in random places and random maps. So maybe if I tell you the maps, Cerny, it might sway your opinion a bit more. Uh, it, Pepe's Pizza Party decides to go with product to keep up with the alliteration. And over on New Panzer, they went with Sunshine. And he, and he changed opinions. Interesting choices. Just, just curiously, both maps that would have Halloween versions that they should be playing. They should introduce. <laughs> I, in my opinion, they should introduce a rule, a rule in ETF2L, where if your official is played on Halloween, you have to play the Halloween versions of maps if they have them. Oh, which in this Lord. case you might would actually, be both of them. You might actually force these nerds out on Halloween if you uh, if you make them do such a thing. I don't think they'd go even on. Know go have a costume party. I don't Get think they have a button. I don't know. You know the spell button on TF2 like bound. There's a good chance they probably actually that might. I think it's the same as the weapon pickup button. So there's a chance that at least the med would have it bound. Maybe that is depending maybe on that's how, something how that finally do. makes medic fun for all these players to play. Pickup will just be inundated with medics because they just want to start throwing out Expelliarmuses and all that jazz. I mean, map choice that is interesting. We haven't seen, at least I haven't seen a lot of product this season, I think. Like, we've, we've seen plenty of plenty of Bagel. I feel, I feel like people just prefer that map when it comes to the, the cough maps nowadays. 
A product? I think I've seen like one match this entire regular season so far where that anybody played it. And yeah, I have no concept of how either team would do here. Obviously, again, favoring usually I would you would traditionally be favoring new pens just because of the sheer difference in skill level, I'd say. But there's always a chance that this is the Dark Horse upset map, right? Where Peppa's Pizza Party have been practicing this all season. They were waiting for this moment to have an opportunity to actually flex their product muscles a little bit, I guess. It's always possible. They they do have a couple of proficient sniper players on their team usually, so I guess there could be, you know, something that comes out there. I don't know. I, you're right with the product. I think not many teams have been picking it because I think when you come out straight out the gate, you're just trying to go as coordinated as possible, and product is very much the wild child of the map pool, despite even Bagel being a King of the Hill map. It's very organized, and product can just kind of get away with it if you just start turning into a dm god or just literally pastoring in and just winning your pasta fights so i could see why pepe's pizza party wanted to choose this wild child of the map they're a wild child team and i think they're very aggressive obviously uh yak is a powerhouse on that demo man when he wants to be and i expect a good matchup for them going into this map i support the map pick sunshine is uh kind of rearing itself as more of a favorite amongst the coordinated crowd it's got its kind of tooth and hairs and kind of warts and all with this last point that still kind of annoying and not really been panned down as like this is the best way to like hold last everyone has their own certain different way of doing it so i will be interesting to see uh if if even if they take away this first map over on peppy's peace party they also have to close it out in some degree to get points into that playoff on the sunshine map as well so it's a tall order but we're going to find yeah. out that question or that answer to our question in our first map it's products ernie it's etf 12 6v6 autumn 2024 it's new panzer versus pepe's pizza party what's happening cerny well, for one, it's the usual product start where everybody just kind of sits back for a minute. A bit of spam across the point by the demos. Everybody's just looking, staring each other down. We got Huji on the sniper straight away as well as suddenly aggression comes out the other side. Peppers have decided to close that gap. Take care of that sniper immediately. Lose a couple of their players on their side. No, no, notably Yak, meaning no damage for them. And unfortunately for them as well, they couldn't really find any other frags at tail. And everybody's sacking for Piggles. Nobody managed to get that kill. Eon, at the very least, escaped for now, but will probably die on this, Ryan. Okay. Oh, no. He didn't, yeah. he didn't beef in the end. He manages to clean up that kill, and that's a late death for Oh, no. Well, Yak so. even goes down to the oh, GG no. trap on the left-hand side. I kind of greedy, but, uh, you know, I guess you have to try if you want to hope to break this forward hold. It has dissuade them from not making a full fat forward hold over on New Panzer. They're sitting back. But now comes the suicide wave, or maybe even like a slow push out. But I'm telling you, if they see Eon, they're popping Uber. Yeah, obviously. If he's getting too close, that's an easy pickup for another medic frag. You've got yourself an easy hold further forward. And at the end of the day, I don't think they forward hold as well because they still have that sniper on Huji. He's committed to the sniper play, and he's just shutting down, shutting down sight lines, which, I mean, at the end of the day, also saves some oh, time. No. Yeah. Gets his head picked off immediately. Varner's picked up the rifle oh, on the other side in the meantime. My. But Yuji's just ringing out headshot after headshot, winning the sniper duel as well. There's no sack wave to be found because everybody dies before they can even enter the vicinity of anybody on the side of New Panzer. Kayan dying as well, trying to be a little bit more forward, just gets punished immediately on the cliffside. And it's looking like it's going to be a forward hold. They have to bust the old fashioned way, perhaps. On the side of Peppers, who've finally gotten their Uber ready. But it's going to be a tough one to just get out of as well. They oh, have no, to use Yak Dies, up. gets dropped immediately. They do Pickles find Puck at least. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to use, actually, just to chase them back immediately. Yeah, them but out they, of here. they can't quite get on top of them. They have taken the scout taxi out to him. Maybe humor in the idea. Varno is still rocking that sniper, and he gets the pick onto an over strong Piggles. And now with no medic, with heals on their side, this should... Be the avenue for Pepe's Peace Party to get back into this game. Finally get some time on that point. They are down almost two minutes at this point. Finally, though, they managed to clean up most of New Panzer's defenses. Get that point flipped in their favor. Deny some respawners, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. I guess they do get fastest but times now on New Panzer. But either way, this is do or die for Pepe's. Just getting the point is half the battle. They have to hold it for two minutes now as well. 
uh, to actually give themselves any form of advantage. And obviously, New Panzer got plenty of time to work. We already got Voxy on the Pyro as well. Everybody's busted out at a little bit of forward hold that there was, and they're keen to get onto Eon here. He doesn't have an Uber just yet. It's got to be a bit more careful. A, a stray soldier just sneaking in somewhere could ruin his life right now. As, uh, there's a sack wave coming in his way immediately, and he eats a lot of damage. Has to right click. At least he got the Uber in time, but that's a unfortunate, unfortunate force there for the side of Peppers, because now. Piggles is going to have his own Uber very soon. Yeah, it was well played by a new Panzer for actually coming out of the door using that pyro. Usually you kind of miss the second soldier in those sort of forward holes. Those double soldier spams is not so much more potent than that single one. Blessing to KN though for actually hitting some pretty beefy air shots in the mix of all that. They actually take out Voxy on the push out here. So losing a scout down when you've got an Uber bubbling is kind of annoying, but they can probably still make it work here, but nobody else can die. Uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be a rough one. Term dying makes it even harder to defend as well. And again, they're still up on the time as well. Even if they trade out Ryan for KN now, it's just soldiers being traded. Again, it's numbers though going down for Peppers. Varnu in the back lines, no sniper now oh, to worry Puck. about. And Eon gets picked off by Puck as well. They let him get away with it, and that's just spell and doom. They've already flipped the point. Piggle still has a full Uber as well. And there's. No, no need even for New Panzer to be aggressive with this hold whatsoever. They know they've just bought themselves at least 45 seconds just off the Uber ad alone. Let alone whatever else Peppers tries to do now. I guess we'll have to see. The ball's in their court. They have to make up for that. Barnard hits a nice little shot onto Voxy just to get him off the battlefield. And the Uber is used out of the side of New Panzer as he just sends himself into the enemy combo. And does a lot of damage, but no follow-up is there to clean up any kills as Ryan couldn't engage either. And... Barnard's doing a good job denying any high ground up on Cliff as that sniper is tier. Manages to rush in. Mary from forward gets one kill. There's a second one onto Ryan with the sniper as well. And they flip the point once more. Peppers are still in this. They've certainly got a chance to continue this if they keep this momentum up. And if they keep Eon in this as well. Piggles going down from that shot is certainly gonna help. Yeah, Varnu, uh, I really like the fact that he's actually getting aggressive with it on the sniper, getting to that forward position, getting those sights that usually these snipers don't have the privilege to have when they're sitting back on China. And uh, the feeling it is actually uh, up and off way more compared to anything that uh, New Panzer's rocking up on the sniper. So I can see they're going to stick with the sniper. Yeah, it's, it's certainly been working well for them so far, so I can see why they may continue it. and. Well, Ooh. they're just going to deal with a couple stragglers. Ryan can't sneak in, neither can Puck. They do get the force out eventually out of Eon, but they have to sacrifice a lot for it. Cho lives for a while, but does get cleaned up as well. And Pickles is only going to have like 30% here, which it's not a lot to work with when you're, you know, 40 seconds away from losing the round. So New Panzer have to move out now. They have no choice. They got to get on that point sooner rather than later. And they bust through immediately. Not much of a uh -oh, right Eon. Eon gets caught immediately. Out of position, couldn't quite get away in time. That is disastrous for Peppers now. They needed those heals on the field for any chance to come back after this, even if Piggles had to use. And now if they can't get onto Piggles, can't get that pick off, it's gonna be do or die time for them as they just bleed more positions. And the point will very much Ooh. likely flip, even if Juno picks up that Nick. nice little frag onto Huji. The nice point time a little bit more. KN gets in, does a lot of damage as well, but... Point will flip anyway. It is overtime on the clock for Peppers. They have to get back on this, but as soon as they let them back on this on the side of New Panzer, that's going to be a one round for Peppers. So they have to stay present here on the point, and they will have to use that Uber as well to get oh, those no. scouts off the point. Unfortunately for the side of Peppers, oh, everybody's kind of just bunched up. So they eat a lot of damage, but they don't lose too many players. Yeah, the potential here. Eon keeps, um, kept himself alive. The heals is more important at this point, but uh, they really need to start finding the easy frags. Uh, Hugi is going to take out Eon in the, early in this fight, and now it's just uh, DM Slugfest entering the meat grinder, and there's just way too many guns and way too much buff for them to kind of plow through all of that. A lot of layers here, why things went wrong. If you're rocking a sniper, why are you going for the forward hold? That sniper mm -hmm. likes the room, likes, so why not just take advantage, give them uh, that space straight on and let the sniper work. But right now, that sniper is just not really being utilized and they're really missing the double soldier on the forward uh, flank as well. That's the reason why two soldiers went. They didn't even rock a pyro that time, Cerny. They just walked yeah. in and killed Eon. And it worked wonderfully for the first round, but there's always a couple more and Peppers weren't looking too bad. They did manage to get to double overtime, so a little bit more cleanup on the 
Tail ends there and they might have a chance to pick themselves up around regardless as the next mid is underway. Huge back on the sniper for the start of it. Varno on the other side, counter sniping as well. Choosing for that uh, top China position instead. And Cap's gonna be a little bit of time for Pepis to start with. Unfortunately, Terms the first to fall to a snipe in the head as Kane gets picked up on the flank as well. Puck in the meantime gets traded out, but. It's already in the favor of Nupanzer in terms of sheer numbers. Juno might get caught here as well. Just nah, not, does not narrowly escape and Varna loses the duel. It is looking dire for Pepe's as Yak can't escape the meat grinder either. And it is a very dominant performance now out of Nupanzer. Crucially though, at least Eon stayed alive. It's gonna have an Uber a little bit sooner as well. It's not gonna matter much probably, but at least they're gonna have something to respond to with here in uh, the near future. Yeah, they hurt the early snipe onto the scout from Hugi was a big and potent factor. It feels almost illegal to get sniped as a scout and in a game of TF2, but uh, the scout is very important on, on King of the Hill. Eon pops us his Uber now. He had basically forced by Joe, and they count, they respond in kind, and they're going to go in deep, but they need to find Eon during all this, or maybe they could just focus down all these combat classes instead. And yeah, they're actually linking up. They're actually getting the, the right sort of... Uh, synchronized fire between all these players and yeah Eon stays alive but Eon's got no, no one to heal and oh my god he even dies at the end as well so this is the best timeline for news panzer in this situation not only did you have a much better uber during the exchange you also kill the medic the enemy medic so late that you just keep a massive adva advantage alive anyway and they're looking they're looking nice to hold this they're playing this much right much more right as well look no forward hold out of out of Nupanzer, they know they've got the sniper they're playing around them. Yuji getting given a lot of space as the soldiers come in for the sack wave. They do get oh, out to Pickles, Pickles, actually. Hand finds the crucial rocket he needs. Pickles gets taken out of the equation, and suddenly things have flipped the script Eon as long as Eon can stay alive, and he will have a oh. rough time doing so. Two scouts and a soldier chasing him down, and Yak can only do so much against those three before dying himself. I, so much for that. It's very greedy. It's very greedy from Pepe's pizza party because you can see on the kill feed, Piggles is dead. And you're like, okay, surely if we just keep our medical alive, big picture, we're going to be able to make a push out of this. But they wanted to keep the heals in the fight and they would have kept chasing at that point. And it wasn't even like they were rolling over them as well. They lost the two soldiers immediately. And speaking of immediately dying, Eon has gone down. Now there's even more disadvantage. They have to just enter the fray while they're at the most health. Healthy on Pepe's pizza party. Nice uh, little uh, air shots coming out. That maybe they might help her out, but it, big picture, still a huge L for Pepe's pizza party. They're not looking strong this round at all. Nupenza seem to have found their stride after stumbling a bit last round, unless Pepe's find a way back into this round. It's looking like a very dominant one for Nupenza so far. They've been in control of the point the entire time. No, no time put on whatsoever for Peppers. Now they gotta go up against the full Uber as well. They send in both the soldiers. Yuji gets taken out of the equation immediately. They actually have crits on the side of Biggles. Probably weren't expecting that on the side of Peppers. And eh, all things considered, they didn't lose too much to the crits itself, unfortunately, though. It was basically just a sack wave. And Eon has to get out of here stat because they're getting chased down. And Juno will have to just stay behind. So save in Private Ryan, keeping your medic a chance to get out. Unfortunately, now they have six seconds to get to the point at all and flip it otherwise uh this round will be over very quickly and uh, they will cap it at the very least but it's uh, not looking good for Pippus right now yeah ian keeps himself alive and uh, allows uh, to pump some heals into those respawns and get back into the fight they're overextending because they feel like they need to just win big at this point win big and get a lot of advantage maybe get a forward hold involved that really chip away at three minutes of time but you know it's uh that's why you don't really see these sort of plays go off too well when you go for these big plays. They get punished very easily in the side of the map of New Panzer. Now, they have 100% Uber charge. They pop off very early. I guess they were scared about the Hugi Sniper. And they they do get on top of Joe, but they haven't got on top of Piggles. Piggles now, he's got plenty of time. He's got two minutes to kind of like coordinate this Uber push back in. Even if they fail, two minutes is uh, plenty of time to get another one or two afterwards without much trouble at all. So... New Panzer have all the time in the world to work with. They can beef this if they so desire, and uh, no harm, no foul for the most part, probably. Even if uh, this one fails, a couple more attempts down the line uh, wouldn't be that bad. And I can't help but notice, now that Varn is not sniping anymore, Pepis have been struggling a little bit more. Maybe they did need those sniper plays a little bit more. They helped them a lot in the first round, even if they didn't round it out. So I guess we'll see how they do it in this a little bit of uh, aggression coming out of New Panzer. Now, they do eventually get the force out, but... 
I mean, they just gotta deal with this place oh, on no. point. They already lost two. They got absolutely no presence on the point either. There's so no, much cap time. Yeah, they couldn't get to it in time. They just couldn't get there. Yeah, just couldn't build it in time. Uh, ironically enough, they sat back when they didn't have the sniper, but I also like the fact that Hughie actually came off of sniper for the Uber push. I know it seems like not that big of a deal when you have an Uber, but just having all manned that could be available for this Uber and also to clean up all these, you know, uh, running away players on the side of Pepe's does stack up. But there's still, you know, it's still not over. First of three and it's 2-0. Yeah, certainly a chance, and uh, they're up him with the K on Sniper this time around instead. Unfortunately uh -oh. for him, he loses the duel immediately. yuji has got everybody's number today. He's hitting the shots he needs to, being a menace on that Sniper, and opening things up nicely for his team as Ryan sends himself in, does eventually get traded out for Juno. Effectively, still looking better for Nuke Panzer, though, all things considered. Only losing a scout and getting away with the point as well. Just narrowly, narrowly missing on Terum, but Terum will escape for the time being, and... I mean, it's not, it's not horrible for Peppers. They lost a couple of players, but they kept their medic in this. They kept themselves some nice positions as well. They can immediately re-aggress the point here. And uh, there's a new Panzer actually have to back off for a while because they're not too healthy. Unfortunately, they still got to deal with that sniper. And he gets a nice little shot onto Varno immediately. And a couple more players cleaned up right on the tail end of it as well. Means that Eon is caught between a rock and a hard place and will have to force onto his demo as the sole survivor with uh, a sniper in the sidelines trying his best to just support the team. But they're not, they're gonna get much with that, and that is oh, very no. bad. When people say full Uber still. Oh Yak no. Went for the most telegraph jump on the planet. I was begging, I was hoping, I was closing my eyes, <laughs> hoping that it wouldn't come up, but he did just go in, try to go hero mode, and they saw it come in, they pounced on top of him. But now it's two soldiers having to deal okay. with it on their own, and uh, Piggles being pressured finally pops off the Uber now, but this is kind of what they were hoping for. They made them come in so deep. And uh, fortunately, they have Junu taking the scout taxi of Eon away. So hopefully they can still make a counterattack. Joe is feeling a lot of pressure. Does get a crossbow. Doesn't quite. <gasps> nice Ooh. pipe from Yak. But uh, yeah, the skirmish is just taking a little bit too long. A little bit annoying. And even in the game of trades, this is happy days for Pepe's pizza party. Yeah, they do. They do eventually trade out. That, that pipe really just keeping them in this basically. But... They're struggling a lot right now with that huge Yak sniper. Yak is in on his own. Uh, He's gonna... Somehow, somehow still alive as well throughout all of this. Hey, they've been struggling with that huge sniper though. They, they cannot really find a good response to it. Anybody who counter snipes just gets mogged immediately. And then even if they had, have, you know, a soldier dedicated to bombing that sniper, well, he's out of the fight, so... He's still not oh. contributing much. He immediately finds another shot there onto Yak. Terum gets taken care of as well, trying to bomb deep. There goes K, and they find Piggles, sure. It's a nice little frag in the sack wave. I guess that's what you really wanted, but you're down two minutes now. You still have to worry about that sniper just shutting you off immediately if you walk in wrongly. You still don't even have the Uber, so you still gotta build for it regardless. It's still an uphill battle. And Yuji has been a menace on that sniper so far. He's hitting the shots that he needs to, and... If, you don't, if you're not worried enough about that, that's going to be a problem. You've dropped three players again while you're just trying to push in. At least you didn't use your Uber, or well, couldn't. You don't have it yet, but still. It's not looking great at all. Leon is just dancing around stickies as well, waiting for them to be popped, I suppose. But it's not looking good for Peppers. Even if they find the yeah. point now, they're, they're losing a lot of advantages that they can. No player presence at all. Finally, the respawners are there. They do get it eventually. Kian is on sniper duty at this point, trying to do get Yuji out of here, but he won't. That sniper still lives. Yeah, you're seeing the difference in the fact that new pans are actually making it, simplifying the gameplay a little bit. You uh, see a lot of Pepe's Pizza Party all going for rejectors at the same time whilst they pop in right now. But they're trying to get on top of Pickles. Pickles is out and uh, won't die for the cause. He does leave his uh, players behind. Oh! Actually, no, he actually uh, clearing the way for Pickles to come back in. And he's got an Uber charge soon, but I'm not sure if he'll even need it. There is this one soldier sneaking about. I think that's KN. And yeah, he has actually forced out the Uber. I mean, credit to KN, he's doing a lot of work for Pepe's Pizza Party, but I think they just spread a little bit thin. Whilst they're trying to make plays on the flank, or, which really I think is the best way to deal with these sniper plays, they've also got Yak coming in at the same time, trying to deal with the core of these scouts, and just gets mulched at the same time. And what is the flank team to do after that? It's, it's just not looking good. 
all around they are spread too thin as you say and it's showing once more everybody's just trickling out to the point one by one getting mulched in the meat grinder immediately as the sole scout remaining trying to damn this to do anything but that's not gonna happen the cap time is ticking off they got at least about 50 seconds off the clock maybe Tyrion can get to it in time no he will not it's gonna be a 3-0 for new panzer and with that Pepes' fate has already been sealed they can't make playoffs now yeah, sad affair all around for Pepe's Pizza Party. So, I mean, this is a bit awkward now, as obviously yeah. we've got one more map to play. I'm not sure if New Panzer need the full fat sick points. Let me have a quick check. But in the meantime, Sony, can you hunt down some logs? Tell me your favorite number and why it's your favorite number. Ah, oh, lovingly, lovingly. I love looking at numbers. Hmm, product. This is probably... The one, it is indeed. Everybody's got weird and funny names. You love Ooh. to see it. Okay, I can confirm that New Panzer do need the six points to, yeah, they do. to get the first seed. So it's still on the cards, still on the books for New Panzer. And I think there's no greater uh, dish served cold than, you know, sweet second map revenge from Pepe's Pizza Party. If they can't win, maybe they can make everyone lose. It can screw them over a little bit, which is uh, also quite something. Anyway, uh, looking at numbers, yeah, I, I mean, Ryan got 386 DPM, and he spent, well, two-thirds of that match on Scout. So, uh, yeah. you know, Scout... he was having a good, was having a good time. <laughs> I'm, t I'm telling you, Scout is a very potent and uh, playmaking class on this map. It's more like the, just the traversal ability and the fact that you're not spending those rockets going around and all of this so i appreciate any sort of soldier that can is able to off class onto scout in these modern times because it's just a, a nice tool to add to your arsenal we have seen a couple of teams experimenting with double soldiers and a sniper you know just one scout but uh, it puts a lot of pressure on your other scout and i i think this is more the favorable thing you can tell from the score obviously yeah. uh if i had to pick up out my own number though to kind of like quantify things let's have a look see here i'm going to uh, put some immunity on kn i feel like kn obviously you look at the score and you're like eesh, uh, that's a that's a double death ratio but he was putting a lot of work a lot of impactful yeah. kills a lot of like good sort of holds as a single soldier in these some of these forward holds as well it's difficult and otherwise i think obviously hugi was just a massive uh just headache for them to deal with I don't think they really had the clincher to deal with him just popping off quite reliably. Yeah, having hitting this stride, having a good match on the sniper as well. It's not often that you see somebody actually pop up with the sniper icon on a log in 6v6, but he played significantly more of it than he did scout throughout that match. And I mean, second top damage as well, right? He's uh, he was popping off, was doing uh, all he had to do or whatever. It's it's yeah, it's. It's a rough one. It's a rough one to look at just from the numbers because it's a one-sided match, right? It's hard to gleam too much uh, from, you know, like the console. Like, you have a silver lining, sure. There's, it's a high damage match in general. It was back and forth, aggressive, right? But that's just how product is at the end of the day. We saw flashes out of Peppers, especially the first round. They were, they were actually looking pretty good in that first round, right? But I guess they decided that the sniper wasn't working and... Barnu lost confidence or something like that, and it just kind of crumbled from there, right? Hugi started hitting his, his stride maybe as well, suddenly in the second round, and kind of just fell apart from there, right? They came out swinging a little bit, and then not much yeah. after that. <laughs> yeah, if I had to think back on New Panther's performance, I, I struggle to find any mistakes, yeah. honestly. I, I mean, maybe there might have been more like micro plays if we start flicking between every single POV, but uh, big picture, it was pretty solid. Maybe at the start when they were sort of feeding a little bit into the sniper, uh, um, when they were making these slow pushes over on Pepe's Pizza Party. But I think that was a little detrimental to Pepe's Pizza Party winning those sort of fights for the entire match because then they thought like, oh, we could just bring out our medic all the time now in these sort of uber disad advantage situation and then that's when eon started dying like three or four times in a row because he was just caught out the tail end so ugh. and you could see the adjustments happening to pepe's pizza party but they like it's almost like they overcorrected they were like right get off sniper and then we're not holding yeah. forward now 
Yeah, they 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 saw they they tried to forward hold with sniper and then they blamed that not working on the sniper instead of the forward hold. But then they didn't do either anymore. They didn't forward hold when they could have, and they didn't play sniper yeah. anymore and, either. And plus, they're not the only team adjusting. New Panzer are adjusting on the flies. Well, yeah. you could tell like whilst they were struggling at the start, they got it definitely locked in by the end of the map, and that's a sign of a of an ETF to well winner. So you know, making these adjustments, anybody can be bad at the start, but only the good teams could be good at the end. It doesn't matter how good or bad you are at the start, as long as you win in the end anyway. Even if well, it might take you a little bit of warm-up to get there, you know, it's as long as you win. I, I like that word, warming up, because we're going to sunshine here, Sony. Mm. Yeah, we're going to be starting relatively soon, so I want your quickest, briefest sort of predictions and analyticals or, you know, just kind of Hail Marys about what you think is going to happen. I mean, realistically... You'd be foolish to not assume New Panzer just rolling with the momentum here and just continuing on forward. However, traditionally, they are a bit of a slower team, especially because Voxy loves holding lasts. So if somehow Pepe's stabilized, find a little bit of stable ground, especially early on again on this map, I can see them maybe taking away a round, maybe even two. But I think eventually, even if they get those couple of rounds, if they get lucky, New Panzer's just going to start rolling. Right, the, the Panzer will start rolling forward. They're just going to roll over them completely. And I wouldn't be surprised if this even ends before the 30-minute timer is up. It's, it's very, very likely, actually. Realistically, at least, as that's probably what we're going to be seeing. But maybe the Panzer are taking it easy. Maybe they don't care about the first seed at all. Maybe Peppers are going to have some kind of second wind out of spite just to make sure that they can somehow prevent that first seed from going to New Panzer. Because they secretly want to support Mandem. They're inside jobbing or something like that. Anything's possible. You never know with these guys. Maybe they bet <laughs> on the game. There's like a betting site we don't know about, you know? A lot of conspiracies, a lot of wild theories. I did ask for Hell Marys and you gave them to me. If you're just joining us, this is our coverage of ETF to Well 66 Autumn 2024. It's Turotab, Cerny, and Samus showing you our sunshine map. It's Pepe's Pizza Party versus New Panzer. Where are these soldiers? That's who, where I'm looking my eyes on. KN is yes. already kind of, uh, trying to deal with the weakness in uh, Cafe, but there is no weakness. Ryan sniffed it out. He has foresight and did not go down very early to an aggressive play. They do lose Piggles very early on, so expect everybody to see red over on the side of New Panzer and just start kind of uh, running over people. They get the Eon kill, and now they just work from there. Yep, they, they got you know, pretty much at the same time, actually, as Piggles got picked off as well. And unfortunately, for the side of Peppers, they were in a much worse position when the meat grinder suddenly collapsed on them and just ate up all that damage. And immediately, everybody ended up dying. Crucially for them, though, Silver Lining, they did get Piggles. The Ubers are going to be equal. They'll have a decent chance at actually holding their second here. Now, Sunshine Second isn't the easiest one to hold, especially when you're defending, and New Pants are already... Trying to take oh, a little no. bit of momentum forward as they find Yak immediately as well. They do lose Ryan at the tail end of it, I guess, but find that demo frag anyway opens up so much on the second and pretty much makes it impossible almost for Peppers to really wow. have a nice hold on this. They're, they're trying, they're certainly trying. They find Puck, KN doing a lot of work on that point, but eventually gets picked off as well. Even if they find Huji to trade him out with, it's still looking better for New Panzer. They got a decent chunk of Captain already. They got the oh, crits oh, no. ready as well, actually, and they weren't ready for those. Eon wasn't gonna have an Uber in time, and yep, that crit play worked once more. It turns out you don't even need a demo for it if you can just put it on the scout. Oh my god, that's being said, Ryan, they're not winning yet. Ryan reconnects him, but he's gonna get taken uh, out of the demo, man. Man, that was like probably the manliest push between two teams. I felt like I grew a mustache just watching that push for both of them. They were all just kind of manned up and thought, I want this second point under any circumstance. Usually, traditionally, you'll see teams. Uh, on the Pepe Pizza Party's perspective, where they'll just back off if they lose that early play, especially with their demo man Yak going down. He's a valuable asset, and having him go down that early usually spells uh, disaster, but they just knuckled down deep and made it work on Pepe's, even though it was like a seven versus six, because Ryan came back. Yeah, I wasn't even expecting oh, yeah, them to stay in either, so it's, it's quite surprising they did. And well, we're going for round two. This time around, it looks like a Piggles uh, is rocking, rocking the Chris Creek again. So it may very well get grabbed by the Chris once more as the Chris Creek gets snuck into the point. Won't hit anything though. The second one Ooh. doesn't quite connect either. And now it's just a little bit of aerial denial as uh, nothing else can happen with those. And unfortunately for the side of New Panzer, the Chris oh, accomplished. No. 
And nothing. Unfortunately for Peppers, though, Eon is finding himself in a rough situation as well. We'll have to force eventually the soldiers just getting in, pincering, sneaking around, and that Uber is out of the equation as Yak tries his damnedest to just maybe grab a bit of ground forward, take his team to the charge. They will put Bully out. New Panzer of the midpoint for now. But there is another crits brewing very soon, and this time around, even if you were to react, you don't have an uber to make yourself shiny with and prevent those crits from doing a hell of a lot of damage. Yeah, they're coming close from Valley. Nice bomb in from 2M. The best counter, just get aggressive, and they've so already taken out a good core of the... Uh flank there and Hugi and uh, Ryan on cleanup duty but with a medic involved and the longer this goes it's going to be a harder job and it will go down for the cause and yeah the second that they had to hold on to that crits Krieg after the first failed one it was kind of curtains for them because telegraph crits is so hard to pull off here yeah, certainly yeah when you're when you're expecting the crits it's so much easier to play around it to you know aggress at the right time come from an angle where the demo simply isn't looking where you won't get caught by a stray st sticky and it worked wonderfully for Epepis. They got a full Uber now to roll it into Last with as well. And as long as nobody gets sniped as they turn the corner where they're Ubering early enough, which they do, so that that sniper won't be a problem at all, they will be able to take a little bit of ground immediately, get a bit of cap time as well. The sentry's only level two and finally gets taken care of as well as the heavy is switched on instead. And well, they haven't really found much frags beyond that, unfortunately, for Pepe. As a matter of fact, they're dying all themselves. If only only a soul scout surviving for the time being, and well he hasn't been spotted yet, but certainly has now as Puck. Cleans up that kill as well, and uh, it's a uh, bit of an unfortunate push to say the least. Uh, as out of Peppers, they weren't quite uh, ready for the positioning, I suppose, on that one. Yeah, textbook defense. The sniper obviously forced the Uber early, but they rotated off to the fat man. They uh, also had the sentry gun on the right hand side, despite the force coming from the left, so it was a little bit delayed. And then the scouts and the panic of the post Uber immediately died to the stickies. You couldn't ask for a better defense, honestly, the new Panzer. Uh, but, you know, there's still hope. They've got uh, a bit of advantage over on Eon. And they've also got KN being annoying behind. And he's keeping himself alive as well. So they have more reasons to go back and give up more ground over on New Panzer. So they have reset options here. It wasn't just KN either. It was uh, both of the soldiers, actually. Terran was with him as they went for the back cap, pulling back the entire team of New Panzer. And pretty much, you know, double handedly, I guess, because it was both of them. Saving themselves around, the keeping themselves in this, because now Eon is going to have an opportunity to use that Uber ad to take his team a little bit more forward here. Nupenza will respect it as well. They're not even going to fight it, so I said make themselves ready for a last push that will inevitably come their way. Unfortunately for Peppers, if they already, well, messed up the last one, this one's going to be even harder, because now you're going up against a full Uber as well and a little bit more preparation time that Nupenza had to set up their defenses, so they got to work uh, harder for this one, and Barnard going down early in Dungeon is certainly not going to help it at all, uh, even if they do find Puck eventually as he walks into a lobby as a counter sack. It's not going to accomplish all that much. At the end of the day, they have to still wait for this anyway, and I'm curious to see what Warner's gonna do. Come up on the spy. Interesting. Nice opportunity used. When you're already dying as a scout like that, you might as well. I guess we'll see what the, the Frenchman can accomplish here. Maybe perhaps a little cheeky stab on someone. Unfortunately for, <laughs> for them, Voxy's already on the pyro, so it's gotta, gotta be a quick one. I mean, it's going to be a bit telegraph. Oh, no, I think Varnu just bumped into yeah. someone. Yeah, he got spotted by uh, oh, Yugi on the no. snipe, um, the engineer, I should say. So he's been burnt to a crisp. But, you know, uh, I it's very rare for a <clears throat> spy play to actually work out on these last points. It was it, The stars aligned that time just because they didn't clash check. But, uh, yeah, he just picked the worst door, honestly. It's the most spammed and most concentrated person door on the entire map. And you know what? They wouldn't ever expect it twice in a row. <laughs> so so Varn is sticking with it. You... Try again. Maybe it'll work this time. Who knows? As the yeah. gets picked up in the meantime. I they don't do find the sentry, I guess. You're right. They're not going to see it coming, especially because Yak oh, is okay. No. Immediately he gets rocketed <laughs> and spammed down by Ryan. Well, I mean, what about the third time, though? Tyrion... Yeah, surely. They wouldn't Tyrion expect is going the third spy time. now. It's oh, a, it's, okay. Yeah, Maybe a double spy play? Double oh. spy. It Perhaps? actually is a double spy play. We've entered the meme. All right. Everyone, get your baguettes out. Get your French cheese. We're going full French. On they this. won't expect it this time again. I mean, Voxy well, spy chicken, but you know, 
A triple Tyr double spike. He's play. okay. Tyrim uncloaks and then recloak. A, a bold strategy gotten. Uh, right. Barno's going to come back in, but he's going to be nice and healthy and uh, maybe assume that and then Tyrim's going to enter from the same side. KN is just, uh, I guess, feeding the, the story of maybe nobody's there. There's, there's a bit of aggression, a bit of a distraction, perhaps a flashbang soldier bomb. Okay, both of the spies are in position. Maybe at this point they might just decloak All and right, gun down the medic. Uncloaked. They're both they're trying to s a pistol okay. pickles down at the same time, but the double pistol does not damage. work out. Yeah. They did zero damage to pickles. Uh, <laughs> Look, but the fourth respect, time, though, they're not going to expect for trying. The fourth time. I mean, it's it's not like Lupin's is going to push out. They they oh just don't God. really feel like it, I guess. But no, they've, they've decided to go back to the cookie cutter. And they're just going to use the Uber in, actually, for the exchange while the rest of the team tries to back them up. I mean, it's going to be a better Uber for Pickles, obviously. Lupin's are going to have much longer time here on the beam. It's going to be down to the post-Uber fight. As Peppers have realized, they only have about two minutes to bring this to a close and finally get a damn point on the scoreboard. All the... You know, we're looking at a round reset re uh, regardless otherwise. It's not like Lupin's are that keen on pushing out, and unfortunately, Yak goes down. Yask get traded out for Ryan K and is still in there. Just being a nuisance on that little walkway. Do doing a lot to buy his team a lot of time. Unfortunately, I mean, he does get eventually cleaned up. His team is not up, supporting but... him. He yeah. is a solo artist in this last point. And, yeah, I mean, the fortunate, only fortunate thing that Pepper's Pizza Party had there was Pickles decided to pop his Uber, thinking to get aggressive okay, with the, the Yak spy, though. Okay, hi another YouTube clip. Hi, YouTube. How are we doing? We've seen this before, but it did not go swimmingly the first time. Maybe in part two, Yak's Revenge, we might see it work out here. But the everyone is clustered right on top of each other, and Hughie's even uh, fanning the flame. So he's really going to have to be 007 if he wants to pull this off. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of distraction by the rest of the team. Maybe it's just enough as... If he manages to slip or in at the right he's moment, he's just a stab on he's the head, he's good enough. He's no! trying to fire him away. He had the spice to cover. It melts even past the first initial flames. He will go yeah, down. The force anyway. And they get the force just because everybody was backed up in the corner. The medic had himself cornered. You know what? It, it worked. It worked. At the end of the day, the, the real play was the Varnu just somehow sneaking in play and hey they got the force now they have about 20 seconds to get onto that damn point get themselves some cap time and somehow make this around somehow as peppers have taken this match less and less serious they have come closer and closer to having a chance of actually getting a round converted here the uber comes in they get the sentry immediately as well now they gotta shut off some positioning some other players huge is on the pyro making sure nobody can get close to that point they find puck at the very least but they gotta get some cap time there's still stickers on the point of pyro airbus and people away as well a little bit of cap time finally. There's some heavy as no, well. They take it up here. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's only the wrong weapon. I think he ran out of ammo. He must have done. Why would you not have your stickies and pipes at that situation? You failed, failed. That, I don't know. I, I Maybe he was trying to do an Odin or something. I don't know, well, but... He had it. They had it. They were like... It was an explosive clash. <sighs> there were, everyone was occupying the same space. Gigi went down to a scout. I want answers. Twitch chat, bring me that ammo counter. Name and shame. I need to see the, the frame by frame on that one. There's no shot, bro. Decided to just run into two players with the sword out. <laughs> he almost certainly must have had like a sticky or two still. Oh well, uh, that was uh, an interesting 12 minutes. We're back to another mid fight because that was a round reset. Nobody's actually won anything yet. They're, they all suck apparently, and we're gonna be looking at another mid fight instead. As uh, looks like a lot more aggression out of Lupins are early this time around. They're just gonna bully us onto their kitchen here, onto their cafe side, and yeah, it's been working well so far. No frags okay, on either good, way good yet, though, surprisingly. Good, good back out here from Pepe's yeah. Pizza Party. Both, uh, I've never seen two soldiers wrangled so easily as poor Tyrim and KN. And when they were out, they stuck around, but uh, New Panzer just shot them, like, I guess, some, you know, scary look, and then that was enough for them to leave. This is from Elisa, right? The yeah, second, they found the second hold, the second push. Nice situation to be in, at least. You got your full Uber medic and, and all that stuff going, so... It's, uh, you just Ryan. gotta hold off this Ryan bomb as he gets oh. in deep. Gets a lot of damage onto Eon as well, who should be quaking in his in his pantaloons as he picks up that med pack. All right, he will live, though. Does, uh, does have balls to not pop there, and you gotta respect him for actually taking care of that soldier as well. Now, unfortunately for them, though, no team's in the lead yet. They can't just rest on their laurels, either, on the side of Peppers. They gotta make something happen themselves either you know hold this push off 
that will inevitably come their way eventually, or did, find a sack that works. Did you just say uh, balls to pop off there? I'm, I'm, I'm pulling this back. Did you, balls, balls to, to not pop. pop. Oh, so excuse me, sorry, I got confused. I thought it were yeah. popping balls, not not popping them. No, no, not like that. I mean, I don't know. I guess you just hear what you want to hear. Anyway, <laughs> looks looks like Lupin's are uh, maybe looking for a little bit of a cafe angle here. I mean, they got the combo there at least. As Ryan, Ryan leaps He's on actually, in. Oh, oh, he all brought oh. extremely low and nobody on New Panzer. He literally has picked legendary difficulty on this solo game. Single player only. <laughs> and Varnu, <laughs> fishing. Oh, fuck in as well. Nope, won't be able to clean up anything you know, a little bit more full forward than uh, perhaps expectant of that soldier. Serum dies on the other side, trying to go for a bit of a counter sack, but I guess they're fancying their positions here as they actually get the force out of Piggles. Just a lot of aggression out of Peppis. They drop a lot of players for it, unfortunately. Oh my god, Ryan! just gets dueled down by Ryan, jousted in the air. And, uh, well, it's not a favorable player trait for Peppis, but they kept their Uber, I guess? Now they just gotta wait eight years for everybody to respawn, so it wasn't ah, really worth yes. it giving up second. The whole the old round trade for uber i i think that's a ah. fantastic play to make pepe's pizza party maybe you can carry it over to the next round yeah perhaps they're, they're holding this uber for uh for the next game i suppose at this point oh my god yak has gone down no. as well in comes back no. out but he's gonna get met by a soldier and they do oh force out they managed to cut off this point but they've managed to weasel their way onto it in the final moments of the game and they might go back in with this actually no they're not tiram is backing out and, uh, well, I say back and forward, and they're back and out, and they're going to build instead. Very big picture, very defensive on the... I, everything I've just witnessed from that forcing Pickles on mid up until this point has been some of the worst DF2 I've ever seen. This is... Oh, no, don't worry. It can get worse. Aeon is rocking our spy class. Everybody ah. is going on the Frenchman this day. Everybody He's gets a shot on Basically, we're watching four fence at this point. To be fair, at least... The spy play out of loss is a slightly more usual Can play. Get a, at the back stab gets a stab. On Ryan. Yeah, you know, he's been more successful on the spy than anybody else on his team so far. He's managed to get a kill. So he's done something. They find Puck as well. They hold it off for now. The Uber didn't Tyrion? go anywhere. Oh, almost They're gets actually doing like, a fish themselves. onto Piggles there, but Piggles makes a nice little surf away. And uh, I don't think they're going to be able to make a push out. It depends if they're giving this up on New Panzer. They are. Okay, so. They're very safe and sorry here over on New Panzer. And I mean, keep in mind, Cerny, it's nil nil still. Yeah. Oh, somehow, some way, now the team has managed to convert around just yet. Eon eating a lot of spam, walking into mid, and oh, we'll Eon's have to force down. to. Oh, I we'll see. Have to force he's eventually. Down, I should say. I thought yeah. he was going to go down. Well, no, he does force, but unfortunately for them, oh, here Eagles we go. has his own Uber now, and here comes the response on a new Panzer. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a quick one. Yep, Eon Kian already taken care of, and that's pretty much all you needed to really take care of. You got the medic, you got the playmaker for the team, and unless you let anybody slip through, like Tiram is right now, who may very well get an angle, nope. He will just get uh, shuts down as well as he oh, tries oh, oh, and don't scrambles. He almost gets uh, on top of Pegos, but uh, I have... won't, let, won't get the dunk on there, unfortunately. Not happening. Yeah. Where was the box scout? Where, where, who's looking after poor Eon? Eon is walking in alone on his choke, and I mean, Kayon is with him, but Kayon wants to jump and like punish people, and uh, you know, expectedly so. But usually, you have a scout that's there loving a heel beam, but there's no one to be seen on Pepe's pizza party. And yet, somehow, throughout all of this, the Ubers are still kind of equal, so it's not like they're in a massive disadvantage yet, unfortunately. For them, though, they're losing a couple players as well, traded out rather equally for the side. On either side, much rather right now as uh, New Panzer uh, can't really commit to this push too much anymore, missing uh, well both their main caller and also their demo man. So I guess I'll have to wait on that Uber instead, which Pickles has built significantly quicker. Oh my God, ignore the demo man. Where is he? On the, trying <laughs> to find him in the water. But he actually meets up with a pocket scout now, and actually I think he's a bit running scared. There is a couple of stragglers, and to say that they have Uber charged, they there we go. Now we're getting back into the fight. Eon's picked up a health pack, and New Panzer. Again, like they've shown a lot of the Sunshine map, playing very defensive and very safe. 
Yeah. I think I need to see like a heat map of what Eon's HP has been on. I've seen this man on like 20 or 30 HP so damn much whenever he has an uber charge. Somehow a scout sneaks in, gets like a nasty meat shot before finally being taken care of. And Eon is just chilling every single time at the end of these. Somehow, someway hasn't fallen to one of those yet as maybe finally his team wants to make a move in here again. He's just left alone to fend for himself with everybody else running off. But I guess it doesn't really matter. New Panzer respects the uber enough. To uh, kind of give up second. Oh my At least god, give the them a lot of space. Actually, Eon has been tagged by the stickies. He's got oh launched off it against the scout. They've actually got a favorable Uber change to happen over on New Panzer. Tyrum goes into the belly of the beast, gets ahead uh, to the belly of the beast as well. He ends now with this core of New Panzer. They should be able to make curtains of them if they just find the right shots That's and coordination. That's a damage though. Lots of damage on them. They're all so unhealthy. They gotta wait and heal up a little bit, and it buys enough time for Peppers to at least get back out to mid, maybe position themselves a little bit here to, well, hold whatever is coming their way, because there's no way New Pants are going to be biting their time at this point. They still have to put around on the board as well. It's certainly going a lot slower than I would have anticipated, but they do have a little bit of momentum going in their favor now as well. Even though the Ubers are still equal, they had the players for, the, for a while until the respawn has come in for Peppers, and we're looking at another mid fight somehow in this round. It's just kind of evolving into that at this point, and... Oh, well, it's uh, looking okay. In the meantime, for New Panzer, they find a frag. Oh. They got Ryan in behind as well, who is on his way to cut off the entire team and get on top of the combo once more. Unfortunately for him, he will not get the frag this time around. You think we're playing 5 CP, but that looks very king of the hill from both of these teams. Just kind of mm -hmm. holding back and just like peppering and touching the point like a bagel style. They pop off Uber in exchange now. They're trying to make the multi just a bit more over on Pepe's pizza party. I think Yak has decided to just go in uh, deep into red territory to make sure that none of his other teammates die to this Uber. KN has been made useless and now it's kind of spread <sighs> extremely thin on Pepe's pizza party. Eon's going to go down to the flanking puck and... When the dust settles, Piggles is alive and Eon is not. And that's, uh, that's all that mattered at the end. Junu's still in trying to make something happen, but I guess a combo like that, you're going to have a rough time. I respect the play, but this is probably finally an opportunity for New Panzer to convert around. They've not had many opportunities to even try and push last yet, so I guess we'll see just how well this one will go for them. They certainly didn't do well on the last one. They even they Ubered in and everything and it didn't go that well, but I suppose we'll see if we see another spy play out of uh, Yak or something like that. At this point, I expect anything. Tuna's picking up the heavy. We got Varga on, this, on the engineer as well. So they're certainly oh. setting up for the long haul here. Yeah, they've got a sneaky sentry gun spot hiding on the right hand side. This might be annoying, but they've actually fortunately uh, Ubered on this right hand side from New Panzer. So quick sentry gun cleaned up. Eon is in dead man soon, and he is de a dead man. Yak, though, is still healthy, and he's a very important person in this last defense. I think as long as he stays alive. And, oh my god, oh. they've actually wiped from these scouts getting in behind. Okay. All right. Yeah, the scouts just slip through and uh, clean house. Uh, it turns out that's all you need to do. Just have your scouts pop off a little bit, and uh, all of a sudden. Uh, you're back in this and we're 20 minutes in and neither team has managed to convert a last push yet i i don't know what is happening how is lupens are struggling so much on their own map pick yeah i think uh maybe we have to revisit back the uber charge counts i wonder why they kind of put so much stock into taking down eon they focus the point a bit more maybe the guys with guns you know they might have walked away a bit prettier but it's fine because everyone is kind of beefing and making some little misplays in all this transitional play between both teams. But uh, they've played awfully manly on Pepe's Pizza Party. I think they're still going to hold on to this second point despite being a man down. Yeah, certainly trying. And, and both scouts taken care of or out of the equation at least for a while for New Panzer. Vox, the only no spawning. Uh, he's in. Oh, he does he get a lot of damage to Eon as well. Oh, he has to be Gets away with it this time around. Having a time of his life, just sneaking in every single time. Gonna buy a lot of ad instead of new Panzer, so even if they have to give up mid for the time being, unfortunately for them, on the side of Peppers, they gotta deal with a super very soon, and there's already a lot of aggression out of new Panzer as well that they gotta deal with. No heals to keep them alive. Tyrum has to pay for his life. Yak just jumping away. KN trying his damnedest to get onto anything, but Juno has slipped in behind as well. It's oh, Pingles, and that's got a lot of damage. Yeah. That's like the kill! Massive, massive space making from KN to allow Junu to come in from behind, and they're just uh, really annoying on these flanks. They are not only uh, making these little skirmishes that you just don't see too much, but also they're just kind of threatening back caps and threatening sort of distraction plays. 
it's just uh, all ever so annoying. Actually, the more safer plays, I think, for Noob Panzer would actually have been on mid. Yeah, ironically, somehow. It's uh, this chaos. This chaos is working wonderfully for Peppers. They just always have somehow someone sneaking in, going unnoticed, just out of frame of somebody. Like oh. another aggressive oh, oh, one by nice turn. Nice little shot. shot. Just send Puck back to the to the gutter. I mean, fair enough. He will even live for the time being. Oh, and Ryan then everybody just gets shot. New killers. This man has a 25 kill streak. Could call it out. He just used the nuke. That is, oh my god, what a flank. How is he getting away with these all the time? I mean, KN does slip They're in. They're leaving got... KN on minimal <laughs> HP. It's worse than death. It's useless. He might as well leave him alive for longer. He's just doing less and less, you know, instead of respawning. It's... Surely, this is the best opportunity New Panzer has had yet to convert around. I feel like I'm a broken record because I've said those exact words before, I think. But right now... They're basically going up 5v6. Kane is still in behind. He's going to take a while to really get anywhere. And if they can keep him held off for a while longer, they have a nice opportunity to just take this Uber into last and fight a winning battle straight off the bat. As Uber comes in, they get a little bit of presence as well. No frags just yet, though. They find Yak eventually. That's going to open things up on the point a little bit. They find Juno as well, as well as Eon. No heals here for the side of Peppis. Surely this is enough for them to convert the round, just win the War of Attrition, and it is going to be enough. No matter what KN can do, he can't hold off two players with heals. And finally, after 24 minutes almost, we get a round on the board. They did it certainly, they didn't click on the medic. The medic doesn't do anything on last. Who knew? Incredible. Incredible, they did it. They, they knew what the objective of the game was and it's capturing the point instead of killing the medic again. <laughs> Hey, look at that! We got a round! Now with six minutes left, it's uh, on Peppa's Pizza Party to come back with another mid-fight and uh, perhaps just make this go to a golden cap or wherever else if they feel like it. Yeah, playing very slow, calm and collected. Oh my god, KN! We're, oh my we're lord! Going really, really high into the sky. Tyrim is also going to go straight into that valley alongside with him. You're not trapped in here with us, you're trapped in the death pit as it will take out that medic and in all the sorts of shock and surprise and awe so have the rest of Paul Newpanzer going down just from being overwhelmed on the eyeballs the yeah I mean can't even say in chat afterwards Voxy you should know I guess I mean they did play together for a while so you should be aware of that bomb perhaps being something that could happen and it's set up beautifully for Peppas they have a nice chance here to immediately clap back with a win of their own if they can convert this last push. Probably we're at a sniper being a chance here. They will Uber early, trying to get ahead of that. Unfortunately, this is a very similar situation to the one Uber push they already had at the start of this map, and they're not finding oh, any frags. No. Finally, they get a few. No point pressure just yet. Finally, they get a bit of it. As a lot of scouts they actually, on point. Wow, Everybody they get a lot of cap time. Yep, they can just walk on it. Okay, fair enough. I thought it could have gone really awry there because Yak was uh, facing down the minigun of uh, one of the scouts on Heavy Weapons Guy, but uh, it worked out. He kept himself alive long enough, and the scout just got so much time and so much pressure on point that everyone just panicked onto the same square, and it's simple to get to at that point. Well, now we're two rounds up, and it's 26 minutes. We know we know who the better team is. New Panzer took 24 minutes to put, pick up a round. It took two minutes for Peppas to do the same, so obviously, evidently, they are objectively better just by that one metric alone. We'll see how this next mid fight goes for them once more. Kayan not opting for the super fast bomb this time around, and Varna's gonna be the first to fall on the side of Peppas as Eon finds uh -oh. himself in absolute hell, sandwiched between two soldiers that are out for him, and everybody else on his team slowly but surely falls victim to the mulching meat grinder of New Panzer as well. They trade out one soul frag onto Hyuji for finally having to set up for a last hold that will almost certainly be tough. Damn, Tony Hawk on the midpoint. Everyone's just kind of kick flipping around into the sky and just hoping that they just look shiny enough to distract all these eyeballs. But uh, Ryan just going for a simple bomb, gets an easy kill onto Varnu and just snowballs it from there. And then, yeah, whilst uh, KN was just you know, spinning around and having a whale of a time in the sky. 
I just want to see what Ryan does on this push now. He's, he's clearly the one that's been having the most fun this match so far. Everybody's got just, you know, he's been doing everything. So the Uber comes in, and we've seen this time and time before. Sentry takes a while to be taken care of, but they find a couple of frags. Crucially, the Heavy's taken care of three players down already for the side of Peppers, and it's just going to be falling from here. Another nice little shot for Ryan, and there you go. That's another round on the board. Okay, now objectively we can say New Panzer is a better team, but we'll see if there's another two-minute round on the works anyway. Yeah, okay, okay, anything can happen. Have just kind of occupying the same space in that last hole that made it kind of simple for them to get those initial sort of damage in and then there's no sort of kind of wing class coming out of spawn as well no heavy weapons guy no kind of kind of collapse in it was kind of late when the rotating team came out to help out everybody else that had been chipped away well I suppose we'll see if two minutes is enough peppers to stay in this maybe we'll see another Fast spawn, okay, okay, you're not up before it this time around. He's gonna go for something more more traditional and uh, will be the first to fall as well. Eon in the meanwhile, on the other side as a medic, taking a lot of damage as oh. well. Will stand his ground for a while, but will eventually die. And it's looking like another wonderfully one mid fight already. But New Panzer is, Yak gets cleaned up and Varner just eats a direct from Puck and it's only Juno left alive to try and salvage anything, even just trading out a frag. Does avoid getting air shot, you gotta respect that, but will die all the same. Yeah, it's almost poetic on these mids because they end up both in the sort of similar situations as each other where they have to deal with the same amount of people jumping them from the same place and then they're having these weird scrappy fights in, in the same places. But it always just turns out a little bit worse for Pepe's pizza party and somehow that equates to two spies. I mean, this is this is a play that worked for them somehow before, I guess, in some way. Terrib is the scouts already right passed. there behind the, behind the oh, combo. No, they found He's it. been spotted. No, and they found KN as well on the other side. He couldn't even get anywhere in time. They're down three players before this last Uber even comes in. And there you go. That's another round for New Panzer. That definitely steals it. That seals it much rather. It is GG's. There's no shot. Hey, can whoa, pick up get any your GG's points. out of here. We've still got 50 seconds left on this clock. Yeah, they got two rounds in 50 seconds. I mean, if you believe that it, they can break quantum mechanics, go ahead, I, I suppose. We, you, I have 50 seconds left of your time. You're going to talk positively about this Pepe's Pizza Party, and I can tell you that sure. they had a pyro that time. They have a pyro, a heavy, a sniper, and a spy coming to mid. No heals, because you don't need those when, uh, realistically, this, this mid fight may not even happen. I mean, you got Huji on the sniper on the other side as well. You got all kinds of things happening. Unfortunately, somehow Voxy's the first to fall. They find Eon on the other oh, it's, side, you it's know. The Yak spy versus the Hugi sniper. It, the mole ground has been worn. He's pistoled him down, and now he's going to go for the medic. The Why clips, is this one the of the better mids? This doesn't make sense. The clip, see, those devs are going into the frag movie. You know it. Just edit out the round timer. Nobody can see it. All right. There you go. Okay. All right. I, I release you from this sunshine uh, map here, Tony. I release Prison. you, Twitch chat, and Hell. more importantly, I release poor New Panzer and poor Pepe's Pizza Party. It was a slugger, a long marathon, but we actually ended up with a scoreline of one versus three. Congratulations to New Panzer. They are going to get the first seed in this ETF to our season. They will indeed, and uh, Pepe's. I mean, it's a tough. It's a tough high order to go up against, right? They technically had a shot at still making playoffs, but they needed five points off of what ended up being the number one seed team. So, you know, just in terms of regular season parlance, the best team in Prem right now, obviously. We won't know until playoffs because it's not like Mandem's coming to land. But, you know, for the time being, New Panzer are the best team and uh, having to take five points off of them, uh, you can't blame them for not being able to live up to that, I guess. All right, I've been feeling a lot of venom in our little commentating here, Sony. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get a bit more positive here. I want you to throw yeah. out some MVPs, you know, maybe you know, to highlight some great gameplay that you've been uh, watching. Well, how, how did Noob Panzer not only made it in this match, but maybe even the season? I mean, across the season, they've been looking mighty mighty solid right i i don't know for sure but i think obviously voxy is probably the one main calling right he's he's been having a good lock on his team the focus has been very good ryan has been allowed to get away with way too much especially on this map we saw a lot of it he's just having a field day out there right getting away with way too much joe's doing a solid job on the demo just dishing out the damage where it's necessary piggles is as slippery as ever i 
I think he's probably died more in this match just to all the shenanigans than he did like entire weeks in this season. Bro is just incapable of dying sometimes. It's it's such a well oiled machine. I said this entire team and even if there's like a standout player for one match or another, at the end of the day, I think it's all of them working together phenomenally well across the board. Well, don't worry, I've got a uh, a more Go right elegant answer for for you. Uh, I don't think it's the machine. I think the most valued player as of all of New Pants, as of the season really, that came to this conclusion was Nubby. I think Nubby ah, was very, very influential yes. in this season. How could I forget? I mean, he is truly, like, taking the game outside of the game <laughs> and just crippled poor Mandem, and now they're stuck in second, and New Panzer are here running a parade. If anything, the man should be have a statue in the New Panzer Hall. It was an inside job. I'm telling you, there's still some conspiratorial stuff going on here, man. There's... There's some weird machinations happening in the dark shadows of Prem right now. I don't know what these teams are doing. But hey, congratulations to Nupanzer for getting the first seed headed into LAN next week. And uh, mm. however much that will matter for the season, well, I don't know. We're going on a pause for the regular season because of LAN. Well, just a mini pause just because we got yeah. LAN. But don't forget, we've got playoff as well. I know you're True. reaching over for the uh, the remote, but uh, we haven't done one of those regular leagues of ETF 2 all since, God, God about, must be... Uh, 20 30 seasons now no we've got a playoff still on the horizon whether or not these teams will care about the playoffs after lan is uh, another issue but we'll you know we'll find all that out here on the essentials.tf stream so stay tuned maybe give us a follow maybe you know check out social media you can always find information on some tf2 sites if you need to keep following the scene and what's going on with us otherwise i've been told as with me has been a uh, the lovely Cerny in this spooky cast of Halloween TF2 and Samus has been providing mm -hmm. again all those treats for your eyes and for your ears and hopefully you are gonna go off tricking now uh, Twitch chat, see you later